today uh, is the beginning of our future from this point forward. A lot of work has already been done, uh, but the work has been focused on the what. What are the priorities for Santa Ana? And they're all listed there on the wall. Uh, they're listed later on in your handout. These are the things. And today, a little bit later, it's going to be about the how. How are we going to advance Santa Ana? And how are we going to have strategies and objectives and programs so that at the end of the day, we have a plan uh, to organize, organize around our priorities for Santa Ana? Important. I do want to make a couple of organizational comments. Number one is we do have child care. Thank you for Sacred and others that have volunteered to help us. And if you want to have child care, it's in the back. <clears throat> we have uh, translation in uh, Spanish and also uh, Vietnamese. There's a few people here that I think deserve uh, special mention. First of all, Jay Trevino, let's give him a round of applause. <coughs> and all the staff. Could all the city staff just stand up that are here, Fran and others, Jose? Let's give the staff a round of applause. Thank you. <coughs> and Santa Ana is all about partnerships. And we had a really good partnership to make this day possible. And if I could have Julio come on up, Julio Perez. Julio Perez, let's give him a round of applause. <coughs> Julio, say a couple of words about this uh, building and how, you, how this came to date. Buenos dias. How, how are all of you? So welcome to uh, your home, the House of Labor. This is uh, the UA, and we're very lucky to not only be here, but this is probably the last event we have in this hall. Uh, so the UA represents one of the 97 different unions uh, that the Orange County Labor Federation is affiliated. Uh, later on, we're going to have another e event at Laborers, uh, but in this space, we've had a lot of different community events from, uh, you know, from parties, quinceañeras, you mentioned it, to a lot of uh, different events from fundraisers and everything. So again, uh, Welcome to, to your home. This is one, uh, again, one of the 97 different unions that are affiliated here. Uh, but this type of effort can be done uh, with all of your work. Uh, there's very different organizations, a lot of different org organizations that are here. I'm not going to name them all, but it really takes a, a whole community to make things happen here, not only in Santana, but throughout Orange County. So once again, welcome to your home. Uh, but again, this is just the beginning uh, or the continuation of a lot of the work that you all have done. Uh, and there's a lot of work to be done uh, here in the, this great city of Santana. So once again, welcome to your home, and we'll be uh, talking to you here. Thanks. Thank you, Julio, so much. We're going to go ahead and go to the first slide. And what we're really talking about here is creating our future. Uh, I've always told people that uh, a, a lack of a plan is a plan to fail. And so we really need to have a good plan uh, so we know what we're doing, and we organize, and we hold ourselves accountable. One of the things that I'll be doing with the staff in the city council is making sure that once we have a plan, that everything is integrated with that plan. So our budget supports that plan. Our, our work uh, every month that we report supports that plan. But it's not something that sits on a shelf. It's actually a living document that we focus on. So creating our future is very, very important. Uh, this is a great, uh, can we go back to the quote? The quote is uh, really outstanding. I just want to read it. The future is not some place we are going to, but when we are creating, the paths are not to be found, but made. And the activity of making them changes both the maker and the destination. That's by John Shar, Loyalty in America. Very, very important quote. Next. And today's focus is uh, really to make sure that we give you an overview of everything that's happened to date and uh, the outcomes, the terminology, so everybody's with a good understanding when they leave today. And then we want to make sure that we give you the results in detail and the priorities. And I think you'll be very, very pleased by the input to date. And uh, we need to really focus on, on that input for you because if you look at the city's budget right now, it's not 100% in sync with the priorities of the community. And so there are some new things that you have told us are important. Job creation, youth and education, arts and culture. And we need to make sure that the council and the management and the, and the people of Santa Ana all are together and our priorities and our budget reflects that going forward. And we want to uh, gather your ideas today uh, in breakout sessions uh, in small groups in terms of the actions that we need to do going forward. So that's what we're going to do today. Very excited to be here. And to begin the presentation as a consultant for management partners, Amy Paul. Let's give Amy Paul a nice welcome. Thank you, everybody. Good morning. Buenos dias. 
And um, unfortunately, I do not know Vietnamese either. And I actually don't know much Spanish. So that's what you're going to hear from me. But we do have simultaneous translation. Um, thank you very much for, for making that possible. Um, the folks that helped us, we really appreciate it. If I'm going too fast, somebody give me the sign. I'm also going to invite everybody to have a seat if you'd like including our volunteers. We have a lot of volunteers today to help us um, after we do our presentation. And um, if you'd prefer to sit, please do. And then we'll let everybody get back up again and we'll recognize the volunteers um, before we, we break up. Um, you have some, you have some um, papers on your seat. We'll talk about those in a little while. But the first thing I want to do is give you um, an idea about the overview, where we've been, where we're going as a city. Um, and I want to ask, first of all, um, one of the things we're going to focus on today, and you can see around the room, are some charts. And they're based on the community survey. How many people in the room, um, just show of hands, actually completed um, the community survey? Great. Well, wonderful. Then welcome back, because you'll be very interested in seeing the results. Those of you who did not participate, you still have lots of time to participate today and give us your ideas. Um, Basically, though, what's important is that the strategic plan in the Santa Ana is a very collaborative process it's between the policymakers, you as a community, and the city staff. And so that's important to know because it's not just about what people in City Hall think is important. They really are, have made a great effort to get to the community and get your input. Um, a, a strategic plan will establish a clear vision and the mission and the values of the organization. And so again, you're helping with that. Um, as the city manager just said, it, this will provide a link to the city budget, the capital improvement, the buildings that the city has, all the infrastructure. And so um, that will help meld things together. Um, and as you will see when the strategic plan comes together, because you'll have another opportunity to provide input, they will identify the multi-year and the very broad goals that the city wants to pursue. And so, again, your input is helpful in, I, in helping to identify what's important. So we've got the what, what does the strategic plan hold, and the how. And really, that's where we're focused today. How is it that the community and the city can work together to achieve the goals? So the different components are here. I don't need to really get into a lot of detail about these, but you can see it's a multi-layered process for thinking about the vision, where the city wants to be, what the mission is, um, all the way down to an implementation action plan. Um, and so you will be helping today to talk about the kinds of things that you want to see happen in the city, which really gets to implementation. And if you look on this diagram, where community input, let's see, I have a laser printer, a laser, right here. We're, it, we're right here in this first category with community input. There were, there are, with this afternoon's session, there will be, have, have had three different community workshops or forums. There were two focus groups with community members and staff, um, and then also the community survey. And all of those are very important. Then we also have a lot of input from staff and council, of course, um, creating all the elements in the strategic plan. And then following along to the right under creating, these elements will be created, including thinking about the resources, timelines, how things will actually work. And in the end, we will have prioritization by council, the executive team, and looking also at how do you get this to be done? What resources are there to be used? Um, and the result will be this a five-year strategic plan. Again, you all will have another opportunity because the council will come back to the community one more time and ask for your input on, those, uh, on that plan. So that's an overview of the planning. I want to talk now about the community survey because that's really our focus today. We wanted to give you some feedback about what you said um, was important to you. The survey was administered online um, about a whole month from October 2nd to the November 3rd. And it was in three languages. 
It was available online. And in addition, the city did something very innovative that should be modeled by many other communities across the country. They took the initiative to actually take computers out into the community to, to encourage people to take the survey. And the mobile van was provided several different weekends um, and many different locations so that people had an opportunity, which was very, very exciting and innovative and, um, and really unheard of before, but um, fabulous, fabulous idea. And so a total of 903 respondents re re uh, responded, and you can see the breakdown um, between English, Spanish, and Vietnamese. It's a great response. So you may want to know who responded. We've got um, more, more women than men, don't know why. Um, a really exciting response rate, you could see the, um, that we've got a really a nice group here under 18 years old. There was a push to get schools involved, and I want to give kudos to staff on that because they asked the schools to help out and they responded. So you've got youth, which is very exciting. Um, as an older person anyway, I always like to see what people who are younger um, think about the future. So you had 13% of those folks, and then you've got a pretty good range in the middle. Um, surprising, um, surprisingly, there was a little bit fewer, a, a lower response rate, um, over 65. Regardless, you've got a really nice cross-section of people who responded by age, and um, you can see the ethnic diversity in this lower um, quadrant. And um, this seems to reflect the community diversity as well. So um, these next two graphs show you the relationship to Santa Ana. Um, the majority of people that responded were residents. And then there were some who work, folks who work here, students, um, business owners, and city employees, which was nice. And you see um, also in this graph the difference in wards. Um, clearly, Ward 3 had a, had the, is the winner if you're looking at winners um, for the most uh, responses, but you had a nice cross-section there too. So you could see that there's a lot of city participation um, across the whole city, which is great. So um, I want to talk for a minute about the survey itself. You were asked, for those who might remember, that you were asked about what the strengths were of the city, the limitations what the opportunities are here to be able to build on, and what threats, um, unfavorable or outside forces that might be um, working its way. And so uh, the things that you, that you mentioned in terms of strengths are mostly cultural kinds of opportunities. Lots of, um, lots of good feelings about the diversity, the multicultural opportunities here, including the fact that you've got so many regional destinations, um, the young population, a thriving urban downtown, you could see these um, for yourself. I don't need to read to you, but it's a very nice list of strengths. And there were others um, that, you, that were also, we, we cut this off at 75% or more who listed any of these so that we would have, a, have a, quite a long list otherwise. But these were seen as the major strengths. Now the limitations, um, as you can see, were also um, quite numerous some um, issues about population, low income homeless population. Um, you could see uh, some economic development issues, residential overcrowding, um, even the lack of trust of government. So it's nice to see the community come out and be able to talk to government um, officials and to be able to give your input directly because that's important and your community, your government is trying hard to um, bridge that gap and make sure that they're always listening. Opportunities. The opportunities are the chance to build on and make the community better. And so I would suggest that you um, want to look at these opportunities in particular as you're thinking about how you can help and what you think the community should be doing, what you think you should be doing, what you think the city should be doing, um, because these are the ways that you could help um, suggest ideas about what to do to make things better. And this is quite a long list. As, you, as I mentioned, we cut off um, the up, we cut off the responses at 75% or more. So you can see there were lots of opportunities that people thought were important. Um, now, the threats. 
The threats are the things that you need to try to minimize in order to get better. And you can see um, there are some threats that are listed here. Um, in particular, the, very, the highest threat was the lack of funding for needed services. So as we think about what's going to be most important, resources will be important as well. And however the community might be able to help, in addition to the city, um, will be of value. The next thing I want to show you is the overall, you were asked in the community survey about nine focus areas. Now these focus areas actually were a result of community input at other forums, at the focus groups, and from city council. So what you see here are the nine areas that you all helped us define earlier through the other community forums. Then we put them out and asked people how important they were, what was most important. And you can see from this graph, community safety was the most important, ranked the highest priority by almost one quarter of the folks responding. So 24.3% said that was most important. Then youth recreation, recreation, youth education and recreation was ranked next. And you can see how this all came out based on the 900 participants. That is, and everybody has this in your packet, right? So you can all be looking at it um, on your lap because these areas are what you see all around the room. Now there's more detail around the room, but these are the nine stations that we'll ask your ideas about. So, and you can write your ideas about all nine of them, any one of them, however many ideas you have, all are welcome. We're going to ask you, what is it that you think you could do to help in terms of yourself or organizations that you belong to? And what is it you think the city might be able to do to help bring some of these areas to make them stronger or to minimize them, um, depending on, your, on whether we're talking about opportunities or threats? So, for example, what you'll see around the room to my left and your right, um, over by where the city manager is sitting is, a, is the, this exact slide on community safety. And what you see is results from the survey. So the big tallest bar is about what people said was very important. The next bar is about those who rated the idea as important. Then next is somewhat important. And the third one, or the fourth one, is not at all important. So if you look at this very first grouping here, you can see that 68% of the people responding thought that addressing issues caused by gang activity was very important. The next highest was 24% said it's important, 6% said somewhat important, and only 2% said not at all important. So that is what the results from the community survey showed in terms of each of these particular areas. And I'm not going to take the time to read everything to you because, again, it's available and it's um, in all the different languages. But the important point is what you see here are people's ideas in the community from before. What we're going to ask you to do is think about what it is that you could do individually or as part of a, your, a community organization to help with any of these areas that you think are most important now and what it is that you think the city should do. So we're going to ask about community safety, the ideas here in youth, education, and recreation. Um, and again, do not feel limited by anything that you already see in this data, because there are lots more ideas that you might have that are other issues. These are just to get you, to give you the feedback about what people have already said and also get you thinking about some ideas that um, have already been brought up. And um, obviously there are lots more than just five ideas about youth education and recreation. So feel free to provide any ideas that you have. The, and these are arrayed around the room. So youth education and recreation is the second, the second grouping, in fact, um, give a, give a, there's your, there's your youth education and recreation, thank you. Um, business and job growth is I think in the very last corner. Somebody back there, give a, give a hand wave. Where do we have business? Clear in the corner, thank you. 
So that would be anything that you feel that you have ideas about business and job growth, um, please be sure to drop off um, your ideas there. City financial stability is, see my eyes are great. Okay, we've got our volunteer waving back there, just to the right of the doorway. Um, we've got arts and culture to the left of the doorway, great. Um, and then we've got neighborhoods and housing Further over, we see waving hands. Wonderful, thank you. Um, next is community wellness, environment, and open space. And that's in the far corner. And then we've got community facilities and infrastructure is closest to the coffee and the water. Thank you. And then we've got transportation and transit. And that's next to, on the, on the far wall, um, closer to the doorway. So what you see is, oh, and the five-year vision. Um, we wanted to show you this response because this is what's called a word cloud. And what this is showing you is that when the last community forum um, was, com was um, convened, people were asked, what is the one word that you feel that you want to think about for the future of Santa Ana? And so all of the words were taken and the more often people said the word represents the larger word type. So you can see that safe was the one single word that was put down most often. And these are, this was a conglomeration of languages too. So um, regardless of what language people said it, it's represented here. Um, thriving, progressive, I don't need to read you the words, but we thought it was a really interesting way to show you what people think about Santa Ana in the future and what they want Santa Ana to be. And um, so this is called a word cloud, and you can see for the five-year vision, these are the words that people felt um, d would describe the community that they want to have. And that's up on the wall too. So today, as I've mentioned, and your city manager has mentioned, the purpose is to provide ideas that city can consider as they decide the priorities and the ways to achieve them. So there are really two questions that we'd like your input on. First is, what specific actions can you and the community take to make these priorities a reality? And then two, what can the city do? So we really want you to think in two different ways and suggest those kinds of ideas. So you can visit as many of these different stations as you like. As I said, you could do all nine. You could do as many um, as you'd like. And we would like you to use the Post-its. So at your seat, you've got three cards. One is a yellow card, one is a blue Post-it note, and one is a green Post-it note. The blue post-it note is to answer the question about you. So blue, you, that rhymes. I'm not sure about in other languages if there's any rhyming there, but at least in English, think blue and you. You being yourself individually or you being your, the community as a whole. Or even if there's an organization that you know that you think would be a great organization to help, please be as specific as you can. What is it that you can do to help make any of these areas a reality. And then the green post-it notes would be, what do you think the city should be doing to help make these priorities come true? The yellow card, which I do not have an instruction um, on the slide for, is if you would like more information, then you should fill out the yellow card, and there's a box at the back, and it's being held up right now, and drop your yellow card in and you will be put on the city's mailing list. Regardless, you can always look at the city's website, but this way you'll be getting things pushed out to you from the city. So, I have an example, just to get your juices flowing. For example, let's take youth education and recreation. If you think that, you might be thinking, well, let's see, what could I do? I could volunteer, I could volunteer to be a mentor or maybe a coach um, at an after-school program. That would be appropriate to then write on the blue, because the blue is for you. 
So I might write that on my blue post-it note. When I write it, I will then go over to this station, way over here, and I'm going to give it to a volunteer who's going to post it. Okay, so youth, if I had, if I had just written that down, I would be coming over here, and I would be giving my blue note to Enrique, and he's going to put it up there. And, uh-oh, I don't want to start to have a lot of feedback. So if I had then another idea um, about what the city could do, let's say I thought maybe the city should make additional recreational idea, opportunities available for after school for kids, I would do the same thing. I would write that out. Please, please make your handwriting clear because we are going to take every one of these ideas and type them up and make sure that they're available. So if, if we can't read your handwriting, we can't take your idea up. So please print if you need to. If you need help, um, their volunteers will actually, you could tell them, and they will write your idea out if, you, um, if your writing is not real great. So those are what we're asking you to do. Again, blue is for you, green is for the city, any ideas that you have. If you have any questions, we're going to ask that you just come up here and um, Robin is going to, Robin's with me, with uh, Management Partners. She's going to help. We have some city staff who can help answer questions. But we're going to, we really want you to have enough time to put your ideas down, think about what you want. There are no, more post-it notes at every single table. We only gave you one of each color just to get you started. But if you want more, please, every table has some. We've got pens for everybody. Um, and we'd like you to go ahead and um, think about what it is you would like to suggest and what it is you think that the city would, could do. Um, we, will, we will break about five minutes of 11 and, um, and then the city manager will send you on your way and have a few more um, comments about the next steps in the process and what else the city will be doing. But for right now, I'm going to invite you to please put your ideas on the post-it notes, go to the stations, visit the different stations, and um, think hard about what it is that you can do to help make the city better and what the city should be doing. Thank you.